Distance running requires discipline, determination, and perseverance. All qualities senior Andrew Pryor has acquired from his time on Gunn's varsity track team and from his mom. Running is definitely an outlet for me. You just keep going. Like You don't need to slow down, you don't need to stop. It's very simple. You just keep going, don't slow down. That determination is keeping Andrew focused and as positive as possible with his mother battling cancer. I'm very close to my mom. You know, she's always been there for me. She's always been very supportive of everything I do. She's always pushed me to reach my full potential, to be the best. Andrew's mother was diagnosed with breast cancer 18 years ago, but was confident she had beaten the cancer. But four and a half years ago, the Pryor family received some shocking news. My first diagnosis was when it was DCIS, ductal carcinoma in situ. That means it's supposedly only 2% of that ever comes back. Um, and then four years ago, it was discovered in the bones of my back, and it had metastasized into my bones by then. Kathleen's cancer is now at stage four, affecting her bones, liver, kidney, and even her brain. The statistics are grim, but the Pryor family remains optimistic. I also know how she does it. She is, uh, she can handle so much adversity and just keep going, even though often times get very, very difficult and things really don't look good for the future. You know, she is still there, still smiling. This emotional hardship is tough for anyone to handle. But in his senior year, Andrew makes sure to stay the course with his studies and his sports. She's definitely very optimistic. Definitely tells us to, you know, hope for the best. It is Kathleen's determination inspiring her son, but it is Andrew's compassion supporting his mother through this epic long battle. I don't really want to show my mom that it's so devastating because it's hard for me and I can't even imagine what she's going through with all this. So I really don't want to be going to her for her support. I want to be the one that she would turn to for help. We're not going to give up. And they do come up with medical miracles and you just can't give up.